Hi there, welcome to the Quarter to Three live stream for Sniper Elite 4. We don't play any Sniper Recruit 4 or Sniper Rookie 4, Sniper Green Soldier 4. This is not rank and file snipers, these are the elite snipers and we're playing them. Four of them! No, that's not true, it's the fourth game. Uh, Alright, let me crank the volume down just a teensy bit. Uh, that's not under display. It would be under audio. Here we go. Let's do that. What happened to Sniper Elite 1, 2, and 3? Uh, I'm not sure I played them. I think I've messed around with them a little bit. The trademark of this series, as you'll see in a moment, is super gory, anatomically correct bullet wounding. Which might get a little old. We'll find out. It's made by Rebellion. They're a bunch of Brits. Their main claim to fame, at least in my eyes. They did the original Aliens vs. Predator first-person shooter way back when. This is the 90s, I believe. Which had really cool asymmetrical playable sides. You could be aliens, you could be space marines. Actually, colonial marines, right? You could be a predator. It was to first-person shooters what StarCraft was to real-time strategy games. But that was back in the day. Since then, I think they've been just... Uh, they got the rights to Judge Dredd. And we all know Judge Dredd, hugely, hugely successful video game franchise. If by success you mean successful at having any meaningful games made. But they've been doing very well with these sniper games. The last one was called uh, Zombie Army Trilogy. Because I think there have been three... Sniper, Zombie, Elite games, whatever. I mean, that must be it. And then they released him as Trilogy? I don't know. I actually kind of liked those. I mean, I'm I'm disposed to like all things Zombie. But that was a pretty cool Zombie game. Uh, one of the issues with it, though, was it had really long levels that you had to play through. It didn't save your progress if you didn't want to play through the whole thing. Uh, so it got to be a bit of a slog. But I really liked their uh, Zombie Army game. So this is Sniper Elite 4, their latest Sniper game. Let's jump in, uh, and I'll continue. Oh, shoot, no, I didn't want to do it. So there's a DLC mission, this thing here, which, targeting the Fuhrer? What is the Fuhrer doing at this weird water treatment plant? Oh, is that a U-boat pin in there? I don't know. Uh, I don't want to do this because it's a standalone mission. What I wanted to do uh, is continue the main campaign, which is a sequence of missions. You'll note I'm level 7. I'm a Mark 1 Corporal. So if you are not a Mark 1 Corporal, if you're something lower than that, you have to call me Sir during this stream. Uh, continue. Well, wait. What? Alright. So these are the two missions I have done. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Back up. Easy there, Sniper Elite 4. I've done these two missions. Sniper Elite 4, by the way, should have a subtitle, like after. It should be Sniper Elite 4, colon, a warrior gone rogue on the Italian peninsula, maybe some of the islands, in World War II. It should be called something like that, right? Because it is World War II. You need to know that. You might pick this up thinking you're going to snipe the Taliban. Nope. They're not around yet. Let's do this mission. Uh, I played one mission on hard, one on normal. Hard was kind of hard. And what hard means is uh, lots of reloading. Let's kind of minimize that today. You have your loadout. I have eight space bucks. I have no idea how I got them. It's one of my issues here. Is I don't, do I want to pay $5 to unlock this? I've got the money. Sure, I'll do it. Wait a minute, though. How did I get those? How am I going to get more? Will I get more? The game doesn't really tell me. I'm not real clear. Already, Swedish man is observing protocol by calling me Sir. Obviously, Swedish man has not yet reached Corporal Mark I. <clears throat> so, at ease, private Swedish man. <clears throat> so, I'm not going to buy a gun yet, because I don't really know. Uh, and I do like this, though, so here's my gun, if I want to compare it. Oh, look, the man liquor. <laughs> the, <laughs> the man liquor. <laughs> Come on, girl. Come on, you guys. Behave like adults, please. The male green. <laughs> whatever this gun is, the 1895 gun. Oh my God, it's Friday. I'm punch drunk. 
uh, just a quick reminder, please give this stream a thumbs up. If you do, Tom Berenger will come to your house and will do one of his monologues from the movie Sniper. I think he was in a movie called Sniper, right? If you subscribe to this channel, Barry Pepper will come to your house and do one of his monologues from Saving Private Ryan. And if you go to my Patreon page at patreon.com slash tomchick, you don't have to support me. Just go there and check it out. If my little sales pitch makes you support me, great. If not, cool. But if you just go and check it out, Jude Law will come and he will bring Rachel Weiss and they'll do a live sex show of their love scene from Enemy at the Gates. That's a true story. Uh, so I'm not buying a gun. I'm just going to take what I've got. I'm not going to buy a man liquor. Although the man... Come on, guys. That's just a real gun. That's a gun. It's an arms manufacturer. Quit making fun of his name. You know, my last name is Chick. I feel his pain. Man, imagine being called man liquor. That's your name. <laughs> uh, it has a worse muscle muscle velocity than my non-man liquor. <laughs> my Springfield. Uh, grow up, people. Jeez. Uh, at any rate, I like that they do this. That they, it shows you the distinction between the guns. This is a nice handy thing. You know, we get these in action RPGs. And check this out, by the way. How Call of Duty is this? Look, as I grind these achievements, uh, I'm going to unlock something. I guess upgrades. We can look here to see what they are. Actually, for our Springfield, we want to get 30 sound masked kills. I've filled up a quarter of that, so it looks like I've got an eight or so. Uh, recoil. Man, I haven't done any progress here. Shoulder. Right. I looked at this before. What is a shoulder-aimed kill? Does that mean not iron sighting? That must be what it means. Have I really not shoulder-aimed killed anyone with my rifle? Zoom. I've done plenty of kills. Well, plenty. About 12 kills over 100 meters. Uh, heart shots. Aw, isn't that sweet? Well, we just missed Valentine's Day for that. Rocket Monkey wants to know if the 1993 movie with Tom Berenger, Sniper, is worth checking out. Rocket Monkey, I seriously doubt it. I've not seen it in forever. I, you know, I may have never seen it. And in fact, if I'm not mistaken, there I think there are a couple of them. I think there was Sniper, Sniper 2, Sniper 3. I'm guessing Tom Berenger backed out and they got uh, someone who was a little cheaper after that. Although Tom Berenger, how expensive can he be these days? What did I last see him in? Was he an in Inherent Vice? I th actually, no, I'm thinking of Eric Roberts. Who knows? Someone tell me what Tom Berenger's last movie was. <laughs> Alright, so I'm not going to mess around with my loadout yet, just because I've been grinding away at my non-man liquor, my uh, Springfield. You'll note I did get a skill from the skill tree, is as you hit increments of five and you're leveling up, you can choose and you can freely swap them out uh, between one of two little skill bonuses. Uh, if there's one thing Rebellion got right with this, it's a sense of progression, equipment, you know. Uh, you've got your non-sniping rifle, your pistol. This is suppressed, by the way. Uh, and your loadout. Man, I'm just going to go with default stuff. Wait, what, what is this asking me? Oh, yeah, here's where I could change my items. What other things can I get? Look, I can buy a wad of bills for $2. TNT. Uh, a lot of these things you will also just find in the course of the mission. Although it's not true of these special ammo types. Oh, man, how much is it? I might want that. Do I want to spend four space bucks on that? How do I get that? Eric Geithner wants to know if these games are any good. He's always been curious about them. Eric Geithner, I'm not sure that I would say these games are any good, but I would say this game is good. I really like what they're doing in this. So let's go look at it. Um, all right. What? I'm good. Select. Why are you making... No. What is going on here? Oh, oh, I see. That's just if I... The wrong thing. It was assuming I wanted to muck around with my items. All right, here we are at the Regilino Viaduct. Lord Cosca saying he enjoyed Sniper Elite 2 a lot. <laughs> Richard Holt wants to know if this is the, the same rebellion as the Judge Dread folks. You bet it is. You bet it is. So right away, look, that looks pretty decent. I think these started. I could be wrong. I think these started as kind of budget games. Which, it was just like a fixed-screen shooter thing, right? I could be wrong about that. That might be why I never played them. I don't do budget games. It's resistance members. You actually met her in the previous mission. Oh, Sophia. Let's get some backstory going here. 
There you go. <laughs> you can skip the conversations. That's right, I did that. Here's pick upables. Uh, what did I just get? Submachine gun ammo, extra ammo. Oh, good. Suppressed rifle ammo. That's good. Uh, let's operate the radio. Red Fox calling Mother Hen. Red Fox calling Mother Hen. Receiving you, Red Fox. American observation aircraft crashed over Regalino. Mm -hmm. Design is top secret. Mm -hmm. Vital you find pilot and recover aerial footage. On it. Also, destroy plane wreckage. Ah, very clever. Out. Right. Red Fox out. All right, so those of you who have not attained the rank of Corporal Mark I, you have to call me Sir Red Fox. Don't use my real name, because we're on a Sniper Elite mission, and it will compromise security. So remember, I'm Sir Red Fox. Eric Geithner wants to know if these games are linear or more open-worldish. Eric Geithner, they're very open-worldish. Check this out. I am... Oh, where am I? Oh, yeah, I'm here. This arrow means you are... It's actually arrow doesn't mean you are here. This means you landed here. Uh, uh, and there are you can do these in different orders, and there will be, check this out, little additional objectives that you can do. And the reason you would do these is basically for the experience points, to level up, to, I presume, give you more space bucks, and to unlock the skills on the skill tree. So, again, I, I really like what they did with the sense of progression, and I like that it's not a corridor shooter. I mean, how are you going to do a corridor shooter with a sniping game? And you'll see there's some cool mechanics they mess with. <laughs> I did not know there were test. Are there really testicle shots in this game? You'll oh, am I going there? I'm already lost. Are you guys kidding me? Or are there really testicle shots in the chat channel? They're talking about testicle shots. Our start mission. Oh, yeah, because I'm on a little. This is a little. Uh, sort of hub where you can't go aggro. It's not a hub, actually. It's just a little starting area. So I can't even pull out my gun until I start mission. Alright, so apparently there are testicle shots. Oh, check it out! Every video game needs a train. And if you can put a, put a big gun on the train, all the better. Seriously, all video games need trains. Need to get to the railway gun and deal with it. There you go, in the upper left. That's what I have. Oh, sorry. Now. Didn't want to interrupt Sir Red Fox. <laughs> Wait a minute, isn't Red Fox a black actor? <laughs> Wait a minute. Am I doing that? Is his name not Red Fox? <clears throat> that's loud enough to disguise my rifle fire. So there are things called masked shots. Normally the bad guys will, he will hear your rifle fire. A lot of this game's AI is about. Oh, shoot. Well. It's about navigating ladders. It's about when and how much you alert the different guards. There's a fair bit of stealth gaming to it. And if you snipe someone while there's another loud noise, for instance, thunder or an airplane passing overhead, all this stuff is scripted, I think, into the different levels, uh, no one will hear the shots. Furthermore, there's definitely some kind of sound radius model where it's not... Awareness is not a binary state for everyone. See, right there, that's telling me what is the noise, even? I don't know. Oh, is that something in the railway? Whatever. Awareness is not a binary state. It doesn't do the thing where everybody on the map either knows where you are or doesn't know where you are. Instead, it's certain people might hear the sound and get suspicious. Some people find you. They radio to other people. Uh, that's a lot of, I think, what Rebellion has developed in this series, is this AI to give you a sense of sneaking around being a sniper. Uh, you know, I don't even know where I'm going. I'm busy gabbing at you guys. Uh, okay, so our main objective, wreck the railway gun. Yeah. And, yeah, look at this. Look how big this... Oh my god, I can destroy a depot. Uh, just me, but out of the corner of my eye, you know how you see a word out of the corner of your eye and you mistake it for another word that it's similar to? Right there, I see deport. How is that? Isn't that a sign of the times? <sighs> Uh, let's see, I've got these optional things. Look at all the stuff I can do for XP. Whoa, I can go way up there. Uh, clear. Oh, and there's two checkpoints. Ooh, I love these SD Cubs 222s. I might even kind of know what that is. I think this right here is an abbreviation German for something like Squad Kampfvollzuger, which means squad carrier, right? Alright, so actually, let's back up and go do the close. So let's go clear this checkpoint. Clear the German checkpoint, because we don't believe in 
restrictive immigration at borders. Germans are being a bunch of Nazis and not letting people into the lovely... What is this called? Is it San Regino or something? Or Regino... Oh, the Regino... Regalino Viaduct. Okay, let's clear a checkpoint. Yes, this is World War II Italy. See, I'm dressed for it. Kinda. And I am Red Fox. Uh, Alright, I'm already lost. Let's see. Yeah, right up here. So, you will note... You might think, oh, this looks like clearly a dedicated PC game. Obviously, I think there are console versions. Cause look, cause look at this. That's your little equipment weapon wheel. That, to me, screams console game. However... Rebellion's done a great job of understanding that, you know what, a lot of us are PC gamers, and here's how we want to switch our weapons. Yeah. Oh, look, this is, <laughs> I feel like I'm doing parade drills. Alright, that's enough of that. We're playing a sniper game. Alright, I'm crouched. Whoops, I did not mean to crouch that much. I just meant to crouch. Alright, so one of the things I really like, and I'm, I think difficulty level will affect this, I see on my mini-map those white dots, those are enemies, even though I haven't visually seen them. <laughs> visually seen them. How else would you see someone? That's redundant. Even though I haven't uh, spotted them with the Mark V eyeball, so there we go, look. And I click the mouse, it takes a minute. And check this out on the right. His name is Emo Fisher. He enlisted in 1941. Well, it's a boring one. You find out interesting things about the guys you kill. It's really sweet. All right. Jaeger troops. Baum isn't taking any chances. I couldn't tell you what that means. I mean, Jaeger troops, I know what that means. Isn't Jaeger hunter? Uh, I don't know who Baum is. There's some character stuff in here that I don't quite understand. So we've done this. It's very far cry -y. We're tagging these guys so we can see them through walls. And I, These are my binoculars, by the way. I come out of my binoculars, and I can see the two guys in front of me tagged because I now see which way they're facing on my mini-map. There's some guys over here on the right. So, oh, I could snipe one of these guys now while there's noise. But I'm not going to just yet. Let me tag these other guys over here. Oh, I didn't, I didn't pay attention to this before. Look, I can see what items he's carrying. That's good to know. Uh... What? Wait, I was trying to find his stats. Private from Rostock. His mother sends him pickled herring. Wonders why other soldiers avoid him. Now that's cute. I don't mind that stuff. That's a, they've got a little sense of playfulness uh, to that. I really like that. All right. Let's see. There seems to be another guy over there that I haven't quite spotted. Uh, Need to deal with that checkpoint. Oops. I don't know why he said that. These are not timed. I don't know if later there are timed bits, but I can take my time here. Uh, there are checkpoints where you reload. Um, if you die, that's kind of the way this game works. Alright, there's a pair of dudes. Alright, there's still one other guy, it looks like, in that house who I've not spotted. And there's someone else over by those cars. Oh, look at that lovely sailboat. Actually, it's a pretty ugly sailboat. It looks pretty functional. Not exactly a yacht. Hey, did you see that little... This place is very pretty. Oh, I'm listening to guys. I thought I said that. Yeah, okay, so I'm listening to this guard's talk. It's a little guard chatter. All right, we need to clear the checkpoint, which is what I'm looking at over there. So let's just work our way around here. So I am here at the edge of the map. I heard a chicken. Did you guys hear that? Uh, there is no jumping in this game. There you go. You're going to be getting a lot of that. <laughs> now, you'll see there's a yellow, because they, of course, heard the shot. So everybody's now turned to yellow. They're, uh, cautious. When you snipe, you do what's called scoot and shoot. Or no, shoot and scoot. I got it the wrong way. <laughs> you shoot and scoot. Rocket Monkey wants to know if there's a reason not to tag enemies. I don't think so. And I think you have pretty much unlimited tags. Alright, let's secure this guy over here. So when I press the space bar, it represents uh, holding my breath. 
and you'll note the reticle narrows down. By the way, I'm really good at sniping. That was completely 110% facetious. I'm not good at sniping. And if you're not good at sniping, this game is okay with that because of that whole space bar, slow motion, take your time. Like It, it lets you play as if you're good at sniping. So that whole x-ray murder bit, that gory anatomically correct sniping, that is the main thing that these games do. Not the main thing. That's what that's their trademark. Um, and the zombie game, it was really weird because... Shoot. Didn't kill him. Always put your uh, target down. Oh, shoot. It's, it's cruel to not kill him. Cover blown. Alright, so now, see that little red icon on the mini-map? That's where they think I am. And that's where they're gonna go to look for me. Now, I am playing on normal, uh, so it's relatively easy to just shoot, let that happen, and then let them die down. Uh, and even though I am on normal, this is not a game where you have a whole lot of health. Like, you can see my health on the bottom right, but it's pretty easy to get killed with a couple of shots. Oh, Pat Bateman is saying you can hit grenades on soldiers' belts, or shoot them in the leg and wait for his butt. Oh! Oh, I'm not sure I knew that. Well, I mean, of course I didn't know that. I didn't even know there were testicle shots in here. So they've now dropped down to yellow. Uh, there's kind of sticky cover, which I like. You don't press to stick to something. See, I think I can get through here. Oh, come on, guys, where are you going? Okay, so what I don't know is can I... Yeah, I can shoot through this cover. I'm letting the crosshairs narrow down. And you'll note, right there, I'm getting XP, and it's telling me why I'm getting a certain amount of XP. So, you either like that or you don't like that. Uh, and if you don't like that, I can completely understand this is not the game for you. Okay, let's rig this generator for an explosion, because if anybody comes over here and tries to fix it, which they will, it'll blow up and kill them. You can see there's someone running over towards me. I don't think he's seen me yet. I can now hide in here, and I'll get out my silenced pistol. Oh, it's an officer. Sweet. Oh, actually, is he going to fix the generator? If so, I'll just let that kill him. So I can see the yellow dot. I can see the sort of the radius for the noise I'm making. Uh, where's the generator over there? I don't know if he's heading for it or not. Oops. Uh, there is penetration here. If somebody's crouching behind a, a wooden wall... You can definitely shoot them through the wall. Oh, whoops. I was going for it. Oh, there. Well, intestine shot. All right. Maybe there's an achievement for hitting every part of a person's body. Now, I could go over there and search the body, move the body, that sort of thing. Christopher Shoot... Wow, cool name. Christopher Shoot Chart uh, wants to know if you can turn it off. It's a good question. I'm assuming they let you. Because I could see them thinking, yeah, we want to make this more kid-friendly. Uh... Bullet kill cameras, yeah. Oh, normal. What are the Ooh, ooh. Yeah, I'm just going to go with normal. Trap cameras. Oh, okay, so it's a similar thing. If somebody gets killed by a trap, the camera sometimes goes to that. Quick cameras. What is this? Only show quick bullet cam. Don't know what that is. Uh, toggle cameras and multiplayer, right? X-ray. Oh, yeah, lots of... Danger camera. Who wouldn't want a danger camera? Uh, full co-op in this, by the way. And head-to-head -head multiplayer. Which, uh, if you uh, think that playing against a bunch of snipers is frustrating, 
Well, you're kind of right, but they know that in this game, and they do various things... There we go. They do various things to build the gameplay around the fact that everyone's going to be playing a sniper. For instance, one of the modes I tried, everyone, you, you were physically, there's no jumping in this game, so I can't climb up on those rocks. If there's a high enough wall, I just can't get over it. I have to go around it. So one of the multiplayer modes is they physically separate both teams, so you can only snipe each other. And it's all about patiently hanging out, watching with the binoculars, looking for someone else, tagging them for your teammates. All right, so we have not cleared out, by the way, that uh, checkpoint yet. We still got to do that. So we're basically just picking people off to clear the checkpoint. Uh, so I don't have them spotted, but I know there's infantry over there. Uh, here we go. Uh, so the thing I was saying about officers, let me tag him. Uh, officers can call more people. Um, what else can they do? They, do they give it? Oh, look at this. Sorry, this is just too good to pass up. Dead gum it, come back. Uh, you'll note with the binoculars, things that will blow up, I can tag. And these, I think, are basically called trap kills. All right, officer, get a little closer to that ammo box, please. You can see on the left, that's how long I can hold my breath. I don't know if he's in the kill radius for that. I'm going to wait and see if he walks over to his left a little bit. Here we go. And it looks... Yeah, officer kill. There we go. So, in this case, you know, in any other sloppy first-person shooter, they just make it like, yep, you made noise. People know where you are. I think they play with things here, like the bigger noise was that thing exploding. All right, right over here. Okay, on the other side of that building, I think there's one more guy. Uh, we can probably afford to get closer. So I know, I believe the zombie... Does the zombie game have co-op? So watch this. Here's cover. And I stick to it. I didn't press a button to do it, but now I'm in cover. And of course, that it's a weird word for it, emerge. <laughs> uh, I guess is peak a better word? I don't know. Whoops. There's a couple of them over there, it looks like. So see, look, you'll know they're looking over towards that explosion. And here I can tag. So you can, you can uh, cripple vehicles by shooting their tires, which I don't quite... I guess that means at some point they'll move. All right, let's see if we can kind of do a one-two thing here. This is where the recoil of the rifle... Oh, well. Oh! It pops out his eyeball. Oh, all right. Cover blown. All right. tougher for the Nazis. All right, so I, I did clear the checkpoint. You can see I've cleared one of two checkpoints. And I got some XP. Oh, shoot. There's guys coming this way. So see that? It, there's a little hologram lit up saying, hey, that's where they think you are. Shoot! Dag nabbit. Come on, jerk Nazis. Uh, here's me running, trying to break line of sight. There are not, as far as I know, uh, like, openable doors, interactable inside. Like, like, I don't think you... There are a lot of fake buildings, is what I'm trying to say. Look, here's something I can pick up. Oh, this is a, yeah, body. Oh! So it's really good, by the way, about these sort of Fallout 4-style uh, little tutorial pop-ups. It's, pop it's got a little cute little bit of artwork, some explanation. Or sometimes regards dirty tactics. So, um, with a proximity-triggered explosive equipped... Trap a body. Interesting. Well, this body is not in a frequented enough place for me to trap. That's all. Pat Bateman is uh, pointing out, and Pat, uh, Pat Bateman, I've definitely tried to do this before and haven't quite been able to pull it off. You can do a two-for-one kill. I'm sure you get a lot more XP for that. <clears throat> so, the whole thing with... Pro oh, shoot. Oh, no. Okay, I'm okay with that. I accidentally used a uh, health kit. 
So your secondary items, oh, bandages. You can, of course, throw rocks and whistle. Here we go. Uh, an S mine. What does S stand for? Uh, it's one of those, I think in Vietnam, they call them bouncing beddies. It pops up in the air. So the explosion uh, hits you at a more painful elevation. And I've got some grenades. So how about that? You can see from that little yellow thing that he's about to spot me. So these two guys are together. There's actually... Oh, shoot. Going to my Thompson submachine gun. Alright, so here, you'll note, I'm standing over a... Where is it? Oh, the MP40. Do I want to swap out the MP40? That's the classic. I think they call them grease guns, right? Uh, better range, better accuracy, sure. Slightly less damage. I'll take it. Oh, oh, no, you know what? I don't, because I think I'm trying to level up my Thompson. But actually, I don't think I've... I don't think I've made any... Oh, no, I have made a little accuracy on the Thompson. What am I trying to do with the Thompson? Uh, ricochet kills. Oh, dear. Huh, all right. Uh, two kilometer kill distance. 50 kills from above. All right. Um, do I care about these? I mean, obviously, this is something you might want to grind at later. You know, let's just go with that grease gun for now. <laughs> MW, MWT Bone says, it's like you're not even trying to shoot him in the balls. Rocket Monkey wants to know if there's a bonus for finishing missions only by sniping. Uh, I think it's not a mission bonus so much, Rocket Monkey, as each time I kill, you'll notice there's a pop-up in the middle of the screen telling me how much XP I got and why. So as for things like staying hidden throughout the whole mission, I don't know that there's that, but there is this. Uh, these right here are uh, per map. You know, you can collect these things, and they're also... Oh, shoot, aren't there, like, achievements on each map? So they're collectibles... M. I thought some of their achievements. I don't know where that would be, though. Hmm. So, for instance, Stone Eagle. They're just little eagle statues around the map, and if you kill, if you destroy all three of them, you fill that in, and I'm assuming you get a, a victory point, an uh, experience point bonus. Uh, no swimming in this game. Actually, I said that. Let me now see if I have to take that back. Yes, there's no swimming. He will not walk in the water. He is the Chief Martin Brody of snipers. Scared of the water. Oh. Hello, Nazis. Is that an officer? No. Bruno Haas, he's terrified of drowning. You and me both, buddy. Heiner Brandt, formerly a fisherman from the port town of Binz. Oh, he's illiterate. He can't read, like Donald Trump. Poor guy. Uh, you know what? Let's look. What am I trying to do again? All right, we cleared one checkpoint. Yeah, let's go up here for this one. All right. Oh, that's the edge of the map that they're at. Right, well, of course. All right, we can just go around them. Rocket Monkey wants to know if Martin Brody is a movie reference. Man, people under 40. I just don't get it. Uh, yes, it is a Jaws reference. Checkpoint needs taken care of. Alright. That, look on the mini-map. See at the top, right under the north marker? Looks like a turret or something. I'm not sure I've seen that before. A panther term... I think it's a panther term. Let's find out. Uh, I'm not seeing anything that looks like a panther term. Alright, well, I need to get another angle at it. Alright, All right, I'm not seeing the panther, t panther term. Somebody go to Google Translate for me. It's a panther term.
Richard Holt wants to know if you can kill all the Nazis on the map. Richard Holt, what I don't know, what I strongly suspect, I'm almost 100% positive that there are, there's a mechanic for reinforcements. So it's not like there's a fixed number uh, on the map, and if you kill them, that's it. But I guess you could theoretically kill everyone who's on the map, and then just run around with impunity and get the collectibles? I don't know. In a zombie game, you can't do that, because they have the excuse that zombies are innumerable, and they can just keep spawning them. All right, over there is a Panzer Term. It sounds like the Panzer Term is not starting. That's a Panzer Term. Uh, all right, I'm not sure we can snipe that. Uh, you know, this kind of isn't fair. What am I supposed to do about that? So there are things like explosive satchels that you get, uh, TNT, so I'm guessing maybe I'm supposed to use one of those against the Panzer Term. But basically, we just want to sneak past... Oh! Looks like it might be part of the checkpoint. Alright, so... Oh! I can see what they are. There's the officer back there. So, let's say, during the tutorial, the little page about officers opened, right? And it said, hey, here's what officers do. What if I want to refer to that? I want to check. Is there anywhere that I can look? Yes. Uh, very nice rebellion. Um, enemies and allies. Officer. Officers inspire soldiers to get out of cover and track you down. Ah, okay, that's what they do. Encapsulated in their call to attack and whistleblowing. Uh, come on, you guys have a better word than encapsulated to put there, right? The officers are the most vulnerable when giving orders to other soldiers. Okay. So I don't know what the whole thing is about reinforcements. Oh. Uh, panther term. Panther term. Uh, a static tank. It comprises a revolving... Eh, it must be English to use that that way. It comprises a revolving turret removed from a panther tank uh, and fixed at ground level with a concrete bunker underneath. All right. Oh, reinforcements I was going to look up. I'll do that on my own time. But I like that all this stuff is here. Co-op. Uh, I, tr I tried to uh, contact my friend Jason McMaster, who just recently got this, to suggest, hey, we should play co-op for today's stream. He was either afraid or n n wasn't around or was doing something else. Look, they're talking about their plans after the war. You know the moment someone starts talking about his plans after the war, that that character is going to die. Oh, shoot. Don't see me. Okay, watch this. If you have any children present, you might want to look away. What? It was a ghost to take down. How come I got seen? Oh, hi. I did not know you were there. Oh, and you guys are over here. Very unghost-like. Eh, they're seeing me. I'm over there. I'm going to double around over here. See how sneaky I am. They would never expect me expect me to come back this way. So I can't climb up here, but it does let me like drop down from these places. So here is the checkpoint down the road here. And you'll note, look at these guys over here. They're not alerted. 
the red band around my mini map says that I have alerted some people, but these guys over here, they haven't gotten the word. These little white dots here. And I guess if I go to the map, I can see what they are, right? Yeah, an infantry, an infantry, and a spotter. What does a spotter do? Oh, you know what? I think they can call artillery. I think I've had artillery called in on me. Enemy spotters have increased view range when looking through binoculars. They'll use this extended vision to allow them to call in artillery strikes, which they mark out with colored smoke canisters. The item used to mark out artillery strikes can be used against the enemy. <gasps> I want that. I want that right now. I was watching a really crappy, like, straight-to-video, no-budget science fiction movie recently. I think it's called Cyborg X. Oh, shoot. There are operating vehicles! Whoa, cool. Can I drive that? Probably not. So, in Cyborg X, you know right off the bat what kind of movie you're in for, because there's a voiceover. It's like Mad Max with a chick. That's what they're going for. It's terrible. Um, whoops. In a robot apocalypse, like robots have taken over the world. So, oh, hi, dudes. So Cyborg X opens with a voiceover from the female Mad Max. She's talking about how the robots had such powerful weaponry that they overran humanity. And the voiceover, she, I think one of her first lines in the movie, this is what kind of movie you're in for, is, We were no match for their artillery. <laughs> you think the director or someone on the set would be like, um, Honey, no, let's try that again. That's not how that's pronounced. There's the spotter. Oh, right, because I haven't seen a spotter. I just saw my first one, and it tells me to hit enter to open that up. <laughs> MWT Bone says, Mad Max with a chick? That's crazy. I know, right? These days just say Fury Road, because <laughs> that's totally a thing now, which I love. All right, so I don't have... Oh, you know what? I do have special ammo. How does special ammo work? I want to say G... Oh, a donut special ammo. That was remember that was something I could have bought with my space bucks. All right, so there's three. Guys. Actually, why do I even care about shooting these guys? That's not the checkpoint. What am I doing? Uh, there's no saving manually, but every now and then you'll notice a little. Well, I've got the quarter to three logo over it, but there's a uh, an icon, an animated icon pops up saying you're saving, and you know there you've hit a checkpoint. I don't know if there's any way to manually. Uh, save. Sort of force a checkpoint. Hello, officer. Senior Lieutenant Frederick Lawrence thinks his friend Steiner might be losing his mind. <laughs> I have a friend named Steiner. You guys are working at the wrong checkpoint. Let's see. Alright, let's check the map, see if we have everybody over there spotted. We do, because we see their directional. So again, I think if we were playing on a harder difficulty level, there could be someone over here. I think on the harder difficulty levels. The maps may not give you 100% visibility. So one of the things also that the harder difficulty does is it models sniping more restrictively. You have things like bullet drop, and it might even do wind. I don't know if it does wind. That, that's crazy. It can't do that. But you'll notice when I zoom in my sniper rifle, on the bottom right, there's a range adjustment with the Q and the E keys right there that you I think you're using to compensate for the sniper scope and bullet drop, which is just the fact that even a super fast bullet, well, everything's subject to gravity. Gravity will pull even a super fast bullet down. Uh, there's a guy behind me looking in my direction. Okay, he's not moving. All right, so let's see. Uh, oh, so, uh, by the way, requests are open for Request Wednesday. Richard Holt requests for Emperor... Wait, let me scroll up. But was that Emperor Middle Kingdom, right? R. Holt. Emp. Mid. King. Which is a... Uh, 4X... Oh, so see in the upper right-hand corner, that little red radar icon? That means if I die now, it'll just reset me there. I wonder if one of the harder difficulty levels means no resetting, right? Like Iron Man. If I was a game designer, I would totally do it that way. I'm not sure why I'm trying to get close. I 
Okay. Let's try to play with... Oh, shoot a monkey! Uh, mouse one, cancel. Okay. Let's try... Oh, Q. Right, okay. Let's try to use this little mine. Alright, let me see if I can get this to work. So I threw a rock, it alerted them. Presumably they're going to rock walk to where the rock is, and the mine is going to explode. Uh, does the S-mine not work like I thought it worked? <laughs> Am I supposed to trigger it? Let's see. S-mine. Regular or delayed? So I plan... Oh, every... I like this. Every inventory item has two variants. So that's a regular S mine. Oh shoot, shoot, shoot. Dude. Alright, we'll just use my I don't know what happened with that S mine. I was gonna use my binoculars because there's no before I had the icon for the S mine on the screen and it's not there anymore. What did I do? Oh, that's the officer, remember? Whistle blowing. See, the S-mine is right there. He walked right over it. <sighs> it's the worst S-mine ever. I'm going to have to return this to the S-mine store. Jackpot. It's defective. All right, let's see if their grenades at least work. Alright, so I cleared the checkpoint. There's a bunch of dudes coming over this way. Didn't exactly ghost it. That's okay, I got the job done. I'm on normal, that's alright. Alright, Tom MC votes for Destination Aries for Request Wednesday. I have no idea what that is. Tom MC, Dest Aries. I'm guessing, based on Tom MC's previous ravenous voting for a Kerbal Space Program, that Destination Aries is one of those. Hey, real physics spaceship flying simulation games. Oh, Lord Kosk votes for Holy Potatoes Were in Space. Lord Kosk, that is interesting that you would say that. I have a friend of mine visiting, and yesterday we were just looking through different games on Steam, and he wanted to show me that. Uh, and in the course of checking it out, actually he wanted to try it, in the course of checking it out, he decided, ah, I don't like it. But I'm still intrigued. It's like a spaceship simulator thing, right? Holy Potatoes were in space. And apparently there's a series of Holy Potatoes games. Or there was a prior Holy Potatoes game. And this is one in space. Alright, I think I'm pretty impervious to being seen while I'm in the bushes. Is he looking in the bushes? Like, is this like Assassin's Creed where they poke their swords in the hay bales to look for you? I can't tell if he's looking in the bushes or not. Uh, here comes a car. So they're yellow, so they're suspicious, but I don't think... Yeah, I think everybody's gonna just leave. <laughs> Emergent thing. So, I get, I'm assuming that thing honked because the guy was standing in the road and the guy scrambled out of the way. Did I see that correctly? If so, that was really cute. All right, let's. So one of the so you'll note I'm just hanging out here gabbing with you guys. Uh, there's no time limit. It's not like a normal shooter where uh, this is this is what I wanted with Hitman. And I guess you could play Hitman this way. Uh, just some something laid back or at my own pace. I get in here in this intimate, in this smallish little open world, and I mess around with the open world at my own pace, in different ways, doing different objectives. Like I can just sit in the bushes and hang out and talk with you guys. Let them calm down. Uh, I like the pacing of this a lot. All right, so let's see. We've done that. What is this one up here? Destroy Nazis transport depot. We don't want the Nazis transporting things. 
Because you know what that leads to? Genocide. Uh, but really, here's our main objective. But we're going to work our way around here. Oh, no, here's our main objective. Yeah, look, that's even optional. All right, well, we're near here. Let's uh, check it. Let's at least check out the transport depot because we're going to have to skirt around the lake. Because remember, we don't swim. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. Oh, you know, I think the noise, the sound masking, is the, the gun on the train. Like, obviously, it's shooting at something, and I wasn't paying attention to the backstory, or otherwise I would have known that. And I'm going the wrong way. I'm a really good sniper. So, as I'm running, you'll see in the bottom right, there's my, uh, I think they call it an adrenaline meter? I don't know what it is. But if I try to snipe while that thing is, is red, I can't hit the... I, I, it's, it's the same as my uh, hold steady juice while I'm in the snipe view. So if you run, you got to let that stuff calm down before you can hold steady. And you can use health kits to recover that steadiness juice. All right, what am I doing? To my right, this way. Oh. Is it those guys? Okay, it's behind those guys. Alright, so it might be time to do some sniping here. With the sound masking, let's see if I can... Yeah, alright. So we're going to wait for sound masking. Uh, so I wasn't sound masked, apparently. I guess I waited too long. I hear a car. I don't like that. I can't fight a car, by the way. Not ready to fight a car yet. Do not have a bazooka. This reminds me of Far Cry 2, or the convoys that you have to fight just go in a, a circuit over and over and over again which I don't mind that I'm okay with that uh, if I was a game developer I would have put some cover right here huh? so am I supposed to just wait now for the sound masking Shot his ear. Shoot. Oh, God. Oh, I must have. <laughs> Accidentally hit his. I mean, I intentionally hit his grenade. <laughs> <laughs> Making fun of the Nazis now. <laughs> Nazi Nazis hate it when you mock them. They're like Donald Trump in that regard. Oh, that's embarrassing. The same typo for the word tire four times. Yikes. What was his name? It's a veteran of France. Shooting a 
almost the opportunity to... Oh, there we go. Did I get him? No. Oh, it looks like I do have him tagged. There we go. Son of a cobbler. Well, that's unnecessary to call him that. It's really rude. Lord Kosk says I was using the pistol <laughs> improperly before. No, Lord Kosk, remember that was uh, me hot-dogging by using it to shoot his grenade. Oh, jeez! Where did he come from? Guessing that was seen. Yeah, oh, great. Uh-oh. You can use bandages on the run, you cannot use medkits on the run. Oh, they think I'm back there. Alright, I can chill out. Man, those guys walked right up behind me and you guys didn't even tell me. You're terrible spotters, all of you. Lord Kosk, yes, this is the map with the giant rail gun. It's my first time playing it. You probably can't tell because I'm so good at this. Look at there's a little, uh, picnic, uh, area. It's just a little roof in the middle of nowhere, so you can have a picnic in case it's raining. This is this is the depot must be how the Nazis are getting their supplies in. Need to take it out. Yeah, Lord Kosk says in Sniper Elite 3, each mission took me like three hours. That's the problem with the zombie game. Oh my gosh, that's rude. Oh, I totally missed that. Oh, but I winged him. Get away from... Seriously? Don't get behind the tree. I can't penetrate the tree. Oh, shoot. Why? Why? Cover blown. Okay, well, he thinks I'm over there. Guess see how good I am at this game. I'm really good at sniping. You might say I was elite. Now we did not get the x-ray view of the testicle shot. Uh, yeah, what are you going to do? You think I'm there, but I'm not. What is that thing? That armored car is bad news. A fast-moving German armored car, armed with a 20mm Quick 30, and a front-facing Mug 34. I actually don't know, like, I guess an MG 34 is a type of uh, machine gun, right? Is that those, those, like, it's like a squad assault weapon that they carry around, the German one, has a distinct sound? Could be wrong about that. I don't know what a 20mm Quick 30 is. Obviously some kind of cannon. Panzerfaust can be used to take it down from a distance. You do get Panzerfaust. I was being facetious before when I said something about bazookas. Oh! Oh! What is that red... What is that? Will that take him out? I actually don't want... I, I kind of do want to try. This could be uh, misguided. Oh! See how good I am? Oh, well, let's uh, go ahead and uh, incapacitate it. There we go. Oh, they do... Ah! <gasps> no! Jerks. Oh, you jerk Nazis. Such jerk Nazis. Oh, I hate Nazis. <laughs> See how much progress I lost? Oh. So it saved after the driver kill, it looks like. And they do still think I'm here. Actually, this could be sticky. Like, ima imagine getting a save when you're kind of in an untenable position. Like, I wonder if that could happen. Are there multiple checkpoints being saved? I don't know the answer to that. Let me just look at something real quick. Yeah, okay, so you're saving multiple checkpoints, so... If you do get a screwed, you don't get locked into a save where you're screwed. Alright, have I not cleared this? I thought I had. I have not! 
Oh, oh, right. This is a transport depot, not a checkpoint. What do we have to do? Destroy the transport depot. Mm. Is there actually a physical building under here I have to destroy? How does one destroy a depot? Let's first of all shut down the generator so it can't power itself. Oh no, someone's going to have to come fix that. Maybe I could try my defective S mine again. When you guys fix that, I'm going to come over here. Yeah, so definitely there's a crew in that uh, squad, in that uh, armored car. And I killed the driver, but not the gunner. Oh, I didn't take out a tire. I wonder, can the... Can, does that mean it's never going to move? Can it get a new driver? If I was a game developer, I would allow a new crew to get into that vehicle. I would allow it to have a replacement driver. All right, no one wants to come turn this generator back on, huh? So do I just blow up the vehicles? Let's just try that. I feel bad. I'm not going to mock the Nazis anymore. Oh, there we go. Place a satchel charge. So that looks like that's the objective. Yeah, that's the game is telling me what I need to do. You can. Weitentuten is German for keep looking. You can learn other languages playing this game. It'll teach you German. So Weitentuten is keep looking. Just remember that. Weitentuten. Uh, okay, yeah, there's a guy over there. I'd kind of like to tag him. Yeah, yeah Weitentuten, you guys. Go ahead, Weitentuten. See if I care. I don't care if you bite and tootin'. Ah! Oh, shoot. I guess when you emerge using binoculars, they will see you. Oh, <laughs> I meant to do that. That's exactly what I intended to do. Assuming there's no one over here. Although, is that squad car there? It's not doing anything at this point. Uh, wait, plant the satchel charge. Is that... I think that's a, I thought that was a hotkey thing. That game. Oh, wait, satchel charge is something that I have? So satchel charge is like an ability that's unlocked. Didn't it say... I mean, there's other ways I could kill this, but... Is it up here? I mean, my bullets are powerful enough to make it blow up, but I wanted to try the central charge. Here, hold on. I want to check something. Wait, I thought if I pulled back far enough, I would have the... Uh that objective icon again. Yeah, it was telling me you could use satchels. Pat Bateman was saying, just shoot it. No, I want to use satchels. Yeah, so here's the TNT, which isn't satchels. Satchels is something that you find... Oh, look at this. I like this. Look, when I highlight the weapon, on the left, it shows me what I need to do to upgrade it and how much progress I've made. I like that quite a bit. Oh, man, I'm terrible with the well rod. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't going to shoot it when I was standing next to it. What are these pick upables? Pistol ammo, shotgun ammo, alright, whatever. So you'll note, it doesn't look like it's spawning a stream of guys to come over here. Destroy the transport depot, right. How do I use satchel charges? Oh, look at this, someone coming up the road. Or not, I just see a question mark over there. Alright, well I guess we could throw grenades. Um, or, right, just shoot it. Alright, whatever. We'll blow up those fuel... Uh, Barrels for good measure. All clear? Oh yeah? Well, not for long, because watch this. <laughs> See an x-ray of the truck? Okay, I think it's going to blow up after it's caught fire. Oh, I didn't shoot the... I shot the engine, not the fuel tank. That makes sense. Although it did now just blow up. Wait, what's your deal? Like 
Lord Koska is saying maps usually have a fixed number of guys. In Sniper Elite three, more in Sniper Elite three, more guys would show up on transport trucks. Uh, that's definitely in here. I've seen more guys show up as well in an earlier map. A truck pulls up, dudes get out of the truck. And I'm assuming they would not have otherwise been there. Let's see. Destroy. Oh, I have to destroy that armored car. Uh, all right. Well, fortunately, it's not going anywhere. Now watch that. Look at this wreckage. I think the wreckage is just, yeah, it's just going to now disappear. I mean, not everything can be uh, red faction, guerrilla. Wait, are these objects? Oh, oh, look at that. Okay, there are objects. Well, that's what's left of that truck. That was a physical object as well. All right, so we have to destroy this. I don't have a bazooka. Does ruining its tires count as destroying it? There does seem to be an explosive next to it, according to the map. No, it's next to me. So, I didn't kill the gunner, but the gun isn't moving. Hmm. Oh, what is that? Oh, yeah, yeah, see, there's a place right there. I can put a satchel charge. That's what that's telling me. I thought there would be one of those for the trucks. Okay, Good. Looks like there, maybe there isn't a gunner in there. Oh, R, add timer. Uh, oh, oh, yeah? What, what's the timer set for? That was going to let me do Because cool guys don't look at explosions. One last threat with the Oops, I looked at it. See how good I am at this game? All right, working our way over here. Normal difficulty. Uh, find the ammo cache and destroy it. Going the right way. Yes. Frankly, I, I... Why couldn't I just get into it and drive it around? Clear the map that way. Alright, what do we got over here? I'm guessing the game will not let me get over that fence. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did you guys... Alright, so that little thing there, I think, was a sniper. Yeah, see the scope? So I have, like, sniper sense that it warns me when a sniper is drawing a bead on me. So, let's have a little bit of a sniper duel. Let's see if I can figure out where they come. Shoot. Yeah, where was it? Is he in the trees? Is there... There's gotta be a tower back. Oh, right, right. I bet... Oh, there he is. I can see the rifle. All right, well, someone is nearby. I don't wanna... Oh, seriously? Come on, dude. He saw me. Don't... don't I was... Oh, shoot. I wasn't crouched. Oh, I'm so terrible at this game. I was trying to have a sniper duel, you jerks. Oh, see the sniper. That was the sniper starting to acquire me. You know what? Fine. I'll have a sniper duel with you from over here. Because if you could see me, that means I could see you. Those are the rules of sniping. Um, where's the tower? Uh, maybe I can't see it from here. Tom MC wants to know if I've made up with Hitman after I broke up with it because of Marrakesh. He says the Hokkaido level is pretty good. I have not, Tom MC. But one of the things I like about the way they've laid out Hitman is I could skip Marrakesh. Like, Marrakesh isn't... It doesn't have to be a brick wall between uh, between you and the rest of the content. <laughs> MWT Bone says, in order to play this properly, you should really be using the tag Biodata to come up with personalized Arnie-style one-liners before shooting people in the balls. Absolutely right, MWT Bones. There's got to be an achievement for that, right? All right, I'm going to kill him with a well rod. Oh, well, maybe not, because he's got someone behind him. Do he means look for him. So, Vital Skittles is keep looking. Doogie is look for, for him. Oh. 
Oh, whoops. Ah! <laughs> what is it? Let's actually go to bed. Oh shoot, come on! Well, that does make sense. <laughs> huh. Oh my god, look at all the progress I've lost. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, reload, reload, reload. No fair, you guys, I'm reloading. Oh, jerks. Oh, that was so rude. I was reloading. I can't do that when I'm reloading. Alright, well, you're in a nice line. Oh, shoot! No, no, wrong gun! Hold on, I have to switch my guns, jerks. See how good I'm at this game? That right there, not ghosting. Definitely not ghosting. Can't find anything else. Oh. I just saw a brief glimpse of a uh, equipment comparison screen that with a lot of green on it. What was that? It wasn't it, though. It wasn't that. It was something else, Ted Gummit. That! Oh, shoot. There. Uh, so that's way better than... Oh, what? oh, oh, I see. It's a pistol. That's better than my pistol. The reason it's got better stats is it's not suppressed. So, all right. I don't care about that. All right. Oh, shoot. We're going to have a sniper duel, right? Remember? All right. Where is that tower? So either someone left his rifle up there, or yep, there we go. Edvald Boxter Sniper. Alright, you and me, buddy. Oh, good lord, this is, uh... Alright, well, this should give me some kind of special medal if I get this at this range. I think I can do it. And you'll note, because I'm a normal, it is modeling drop-off, because the crosshairs are a little higher. I'm pre-clapping. Sound masked, as you can see. I very carefully timed that. Look at all the XP I'm racking up on the right. You guys see how good I'm at this game? Alright, so what are we doing here? Destroying an ammo cache and locating and destroying an ammo dump. A cache and a dump. Let's take them both out while we're here. What's the difference between an ammo dump and an ammo cache? My guess, one is bigger. Oh, you know what? I actually have another... Uh, actually, did it say dump or depot? Hold on a second. Uh, my guess is that one is a fixed location. Weaver's informant Dorfman says there's a large ammo cache somewhere in this area. Find it and destroy it. All right. Well, whatever it is, we're going to deprive the Nazis of ammo. Oh, look, someone helpfully cut a hole in this gate for me. All right, Nazis, I am in your base. I feel like I've depopulated. Oh, no. I was going to say, I feel like I've depopulated it, but I'm definitely seeing little white dots over there. Yeah, there's some people. They have a radio. It's not tuned very well. All right, let's try this. Because you can always pick these up after you use them. Just in case. Oh, it goes right at your feet. Okay, that's good to know. And let's see, R sound mask. How does that work? If I use it, I mean, it just makes a noise, but how do I time it? All right, someone come fix that generator. Those white dots do not seem to be moving. So my history with this series consists mostly of, maybe entirely, yeah, of 
I think I've looked at the some of the earlier games. I haven't spent... It's basically the sort of thing like look at it and decide, yeah, I'll play that later. But I definitely have played a lot of their last game, the Zombie Army Trilogy. Which, you know, you don't have zombies, so there's none of this stealth mechanic stuff. But weirdly enough, they do that X-ray kill with the zombies, which I guess I kind of understand, but... I mean, when, when it's not actual... Like, like, what's gross about that is like, ooh, that's a human being under there. The zombie, I mean... It's not quite the same effect. This will come in very useful. I know, because I had it before. All right. Oh, I wonder if I could line up a twofer. So they're not the only guys. There's someone over here to the... Let's get some tagging going. Ah, you know, I could actually... Well, I don't know if they're going to line up like that before. I could have killed them both by shooting that barrel. Look! There's the gun! I mean, there's the gun. Because I knew it would be there. Hmm. So it's not the gun firing. It didn't look like that fired. Lord Kosk puts his nose in the air and sniffs haughtily and says, Some textures are a bit low quality. Sie hat nicht oh, she hasn't written back. That's so sad. There's a romantic subplot in Sniper Elite 4. Oh, shoot. Well, that's what I get for standing up. That was a sniper, right? Oh man. It's like I'm there. All right, well I don't actually I need to get up here to deal with their their ammo dump. And cash. I believe there's definitely a lighting model as well. That means if you're in shadows, you're harder to see. Former school teacher, tortured and killed 12 partisans. Well, kind of undoes any goodwill you got for me for being a teacher. Let's see if I can wait for a sound mask. Oh, what? Seriously? Oh, come on, man. These school teachers are tough in Germany. Oh, my gosh. There we go. Man. Oh. Yeah, okay, so here. That's what the radio does. And now I think you're going to see a truck. Oh, we may not see it, but I think a truck comes in and brings more troops. That's fine with me. More XP. Oh, you know what? I should have dropped an... Well, should I have dropped an S-mine at my feet? I don't know. Haha, they're throwing a grenade in the wrong place. By the way, if you want to be super sneaky, look in there. See? Prone. Yeah, that's it. You guys got me. Oh, I'm dead. Oh.
<laughs> you guys called those missed shots. I don't know how three missed shots killed a former German school teacher who tortured and murdered 12 partisans. You don't do that with missed shots. See if I could get him now with a sound mask. No one would see his body over there. Maybe I'll get him now anyway. Oh, dude, don't. Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. Yeah, I shouldn't have done. You know, yeah, I'm fine. Did it hit his gun? <laughs> Rifle kill. It did hit his gun. <laughs> wow. Physics, man. All right. Let's get you out of the way. Let's go for his heart. Let's see, the heart's on the left side, right? See how good I am at this game. Oh, shoot, no, cover blown. Oh, and there is a sniper who's definitely seeing me. this. Some serious snake action, right? Nothing else. All right, we still got to get over there and get that ammo dump. And okay, oh, so where's that sniper that has been seeing us? Oh, there's a couple guys over here. Definitely been tagged by a sniper a couple of times. Oh, you know, I guess it was the guy that I heart shot. Right. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, Lord Koskis is definitely saying this is something I thought about before, but I'm never intentionally blowing my cover. But he suggests, hey, intentionally blow your cover after you've planted an S mine at your feet. And then they come over to the area, they trip the mine. I don't know why I didn't trip the mine earlier. It looked like the guy walked right right by it and it didn't go off. Unfortunately, it seems like I have a defective S mine. Tortuga Power says, I don't know much about this game, but do we... Oh, it is the... Definitely has the artillery going off. I didn't see that before. Uh, it says, I don't know much about this game, but do we suppose the enormous blast of this gun is passed off by the other soldiers as vehicles bas backfiring? MWT1 says, probably it's not as if half of the soldiers in the area... Yeah. Because vehicles backfire all the time, you know, especially in World War II, vehicles weren't very reliable. Really, they had bad mufflers all the time. Uh, I do see a guy behind that rock. Alright, actually, I don't... Need, well, I, I guess I do need to clear these guys out in order to... Is he standing in bushes... Because it would be cool if I could kill him with the shot masked and his body would just fall in the bushes and no one would notice. Oh, uh, radio operator for reinforcements. Good to know. All right. 
let's tr Don't go, huh? What are you hiding at? I would like to kill that radio operator. Oh, there's someone out there. Let's see if I can safely bin on. No, let's wait for this guy. So there obviously is the depot or the dump. Where's he run? <laughs> so that finally paid off. That was the generator that I sabotaged before. Don't be looking at me, you guys. Go check out. Oh, shoot. Where are you? No, what are you doing? Was that the radio operator? No, it was not. Is it? Is that the radio operator was a different symbol? Yeah, okay, that was not the radio operator. So why are you guys already... The, oh, shoot. No, 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 I was pressing E! I was totally pressing E, you jerk! Oh, oh, I'm gonna rage quit this game. Pat Bateman says, I feel like you're engaging these guys way too close. Yeah, now you tell me, Pat Bateman. Whoa, whoa, what's all the activity? Where are you guys running to? Uh, what I'm trying to do is... I don't know what I'm trying to do. I mean, I'm trying to blow that dump up over there and then clear the way so I can blow up this gun. But I'm not really stealthing it, am I? Yeah, actually, look at... <laughs> considering looking at the mini-map, this is not a good place for a sniper to be. I am literally surrounded by Nazis. Tactically not a very viable position. I guy should wear a helmet. Often seen crying. Oh, I feel bad for him now. Hmm. Maybe just go... Oh! Whoa, whoa! Oh, that's the radio operator. I was thinking there was a sniper up there. Yeah, Lord Kosk is saying, uh... Clear the entire area from the tower using masked shots. <laughs> MWT Bones points out, Yeah, most elite snipers crawl up to their targets and knife them. Alright, I do want to go up there now. Although, I don't know that I can get up there. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Come here, you radio operator. Before I say... Yeah. Oh, I was going to say, see how good I am, but... Looks like I did raise. Oh shoot! I didn't mean to whistle. I meant to drop the. All right. Now I'm gonna whistle. Okay, you guys go where the whistling was. Do that. Oh. <laughs> Seemed like the sound was masked. There. 
Did you guys hear that? No, they did not. Oh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, you guys heard that noise. Go check it out. What else do I have? Oh, I have another S. Oh, a trip mine. Hmm. I'm not sure how those work, but there's some elaborate thing where you drop it and then you have an attach point for the trip wire. Actually, I've never tried it, but the tutorial implies as much. Uh, Alright, now we have a Sitzenkrieg, where I wait for them to get unalerted. I do kind of want to walk up there. I feel like it would be hard to do that without exposing myself. Yeah, hey, let's try something. Let's try to create a distraction so they look somewhere else, and then I will run up into the tower. It's a pretty smart idea, right? Uh, how can I get them to look? I mean, oh, there's an explodable. Alright, so... Actually, is that going to be a big enough explosion? Is this... oh, oh, oh. Double kill. Alright, so everyone should run over there and I could be I can get up in the tower now, right? Although it looks like they're taking cover <laughs> instead of running towards the explosion. <sighs> it's not how first responders work, you guys. Are there no Nazi first responders? Ah, get out of there, don't. No. Alright, getting up into this tower might not be a viable option. I wonder if I can... Oh, good lord. I wonder if I can uh, go prone and go up the stairs that way. It's not like doing the worm. Oh, good. There's a solid barrier here that I can hide behind. Don't look. Stop looking. All right. This is terrible. Oh, no! What did I do? Oh, yeah. Uh, ah! Oh, there. You know what? I meant to do that. I put, oh, shoot! I meant to put that there so when they come up after me... Dagnabbit. Okay, this is terror. This is the worst thing that could ever happen. All right. Well, at least there's a trip mine or a. Uh, is it a trip mine or an S mine? All right. My prediction. I'm gonna have to reload a save in a minute. Hmm. All right. Well, I at least flushed him out of cover. Let's see. This is kind of how the end of movies go when the characters are on a suicide mission. Alright, do I want to FNAB? I think I do. Oh, come on, you guys walk right... Oh, it's not there. Uh, let's get the FNAB. Oh, shoot, no, 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 no! Did I just... Was that a grenade? What was that? Okay, I accidentally pressed F to use something. All right, I want the... No, I want... The... Ah! <laughs> Jerks, come back up here. Actually, it did look like they were going to unaggro on me. I'm not here anymore. I got away. A little penetration there. Uh, does penetration work against me? Uh, let's go prone. Go prone there. All right. All right. Here's like the real dick move in a first-person shooter, where just someone is laying on the floor. Oh, oh, watch. Oh, I think I yeah got his grenade. Sound masked. Good to know. That was sound masked. All right, being prone sort of limits how you can maneuver. So 
Alright, you guys now forget about me. Or just come up here one at a time. I do kind of feel cheap doing this. Oh, I could drop down. Well, she's going to see me anyway. I wonder if I can do like a stealth kill from above. Oh, actually, if I hang... Let's just try something. No! Uh, get out of Get back in the... Oh my gosh. Worst experiment ever. All right. Let's use a med kit. Oh my gosh, they're shooting me while I'm healing myself. Who's shooting? Where is that coming from? What? No, stop it. You guys get out of here. I have a FNAB. I will shoot you with my FNAB. What the? Quit. Oh my god, stop it. How is that hitting me? Is there a sniper up there or something? Oh my god, what's doing that? Stop it. Well, that was going to happen sooner or later, right? Fair enough. Rocket Monkey says, yeah, they're shooting through the floor. <laughs> Ew, good lord, no, don't save here. Uh, let's see, three minutes ago, let's try that one. Alright, so forget that. Whose idea was it to get up into the tower? <sighs> Whoever advised me to do that, you're fired. So, by the way, my new objective, let the Nazis have their ammo. I don't care. Let's go take out that gun. Because who cares if they have ammo if they don't have a giant gun to shoot it with, right? So, we're going to try to get out on that bridge. Yeah, go ahead. Come over here. I dare you. Oh, shoot. No, well, there's someone there. All right. Wait there for a minute before you come over here. Uh, how far does the whistle go? So don't whistle while it's sound mask. Okay, I'm going to whistle now. Oh, he's looking at a body. Watch this. Shoot a monkey! It's not how I wanted that to go, but... I'll take it. Alright, so it looks like the bridge is clear-ish. Maybe not clear, but clear-ish at this point. I can just get around here. Alright. Pony Carnival is requesting for Request Wednesday bloody boobs, which is actually a thing. Pony Carn B boobs. Uh oh, there's someone coming over this way. Let's hide there. No, 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 wait, okay, wait, okay, good. Player sighted? No, no, no. That's not true. Not true at all. Why does, why has no one planted some foliage on this bridge that I can hide in? Oh, you know what would be awesome at this point? I wonder if we could swing the, oh, good lord, I can't see. That. All right, fine. So we're going to stand in one place. Look, there was like four of them. Oh, that was probably an achievement, too. Alright, there is someone over on that side of the train. Oh, shoot. No, 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 no. Let's, uh... No, quit turning... Oh, good lord. 
please, this is so get Oh, how'd you get there? Yeah, see? Lung shot. Oh, good lord. Yeah, run, yeah. Get in cover. All right. All right, I got a good feeling about this. Because they think I'm a little bit over to the right than where I actually am. I wonder if I can get them with those. Ex Don't take cover, you jerks. Shoot them. So I can tell you from experience, this would not have worked uh, on hard difficulty. Oh, look, so dude, oh, that's so rude. Oh, come on, there was someone with a sniper rifle. Peek around. Okay, now peek around. Peek. Around. Come on, I'm zoomed in. I need someone to. Oh shoot, he fired. It's ah, it's artillery. <laughs> I thought that was a reinforcements thing. <laughs> Uh, oh, you guys got me. Oh, good work. Now, shoot. Where do I put the satchel charge? Oh, look. They think I'm... They think I'm there. Oh, the fools. Oh, I do have a grenade now. Oh boy. Man, look at all the dots over here. This is insane. A lot of dots. Do you think this is far enough away from an artillery strike? <laughs> yeah, sure. No! Stupid game. Yeah, that artillery barrage, they called in their own position. That's what's called danger close. So the question is, do I keep grinding away at this save, or do I back up even more? I wonder if there's somewhere else I can... I've abused the AI enough that I can hide from them on the bridge, but I don't know that I can... That, oh, well, maybe not. But I can't start killing them. Come on, they can't see me through a train. So unrealistic. Alright, well. Who over here wants some? Fanab or the Thompson? They do have my Thompson. I thought I swapped it out for a Fanab. Uh, yeah. So is he the guy calling in the artillery? Seriously? I shot. Shoot, shoot. I wish I did. It's 
Let's try to heal up real quick. Did I hit two of them? Oh, that guy helped his buddy up. Oh, that's kind of sweet. Yeah, so my strategy now is to just deplete this, because this actually worked in World War II, is to deplete the Germans of manpower. Guys, quit running. Okay, oh, come here. Get to go move over to your... Uh, Pat Bateman says, oh, you finally realized to snipe rather than sneak up and knife everyone. Pat Bateman, they both work. Have you never played Metal Gear Solid? I do like, and this is one of my problems with Hitman, I do like stealth games that let you transition to shooters. To basically high-risk shooters, if you want to play them that way. And Hitman definitely is not that. Splinter Cell Blacklist is definitely that. Uh, oh, shoot. Uh, the, uh, what is those, not infamous, what are those, uh, arcane games? Jaeger kill. Where you get teleportation powers, and... What is, no, infamous is that PlayStation one. Dishonored. Dishonored is a synonym for in, infamous, in a way. Uh, I thought there was a head over there. Standing up. This is really risky. Uh, I guess. Oh, there. Hey, you. Oh, in the back of the head. That was rude. Alright, if I knew where I could blow up the train, I would just go ahead and do that. It looks like, according to me... Okay, the partisans, right? Right. A well-placed satchel charge. I'm not seeing the lit-up satchel charge. So, is it on the other side? Oh, good lord, look at all those Nazis. Oh, he says, under me. What? Ah, whoa, 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 whoa. Under me? Well, how am I supposed to get... Do I walk down there? Am I not supposed to be on this bridge? There's a stairwell, he says. Where's a stairwell? Stairwell out on the bridge? Oh, the other side, he said. Oh, okay. Kind of makes sense. Let's real quick stock up on ammo. Shotgun ammo, by the way. I think the second mission Everything gives you a shotgun. Shotguns. Oh, there's a shotgun. Trench gun. Uh, no, I'm liking my uh, submachine gun for now. That looks like an uncomfortable way to die. I wonder, do you have to get across the bridge? Like, is there? Yeah, I could have come from either side. Interesting. Oh, really? They saw me. All right, great. Oh, yeah, yeah. It looks like that scaffolding over there. That might be a stairwell. Uh, does the objective say you plant the bomb underneath the train? If so, I'm going to be okay with it being underneath me. Let's check. 
Wreck the railway gun. Uh, no, it doesn't say anything. I, I reckon a well-placed satchel charge would do it, but I better be a good distance away when I trigger it. All right. Hmm, how am I supposed to know it's underneath? Yeah, oh, looky there. So I'm blowing up the bridge, not the gun. All right. There's probably a cutscene that told me that, that I couldn't be bothered to watch. Oh, okay, he sees me. Yeah, looky down there. I see. Come on. I hate that whole thing where in a video game where you can't lean over. Hold on, let me get down the ladder. Don't shoot at me when I'm a ladder, jerks. There's another ladder. Satchel charge place better be down here. Uh. No, 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 that's not what I meant to do. Yeah! <laughs> Well, the thing is, you guys can't lean over and shoot me either. Oh! Oh! There's a dude down there. Uh, please climb up the ladder. It's gonna be much easier for me to shoot you. Oh! That. Oh, God! Yeah, there. Okay, I'm sorry. Do it again. I didn't get... Penetration. It's not just for Germans. Uh, is he down there? Yeah. Okay. Shoot a monkey. All right, we got eight more rounds. This right here, great place to be. Very defensible spot. Uh, there's a grenade. Ah. Uh. <laughs> oh, I should be trying these shoulder. Where's that coming from? Uh, Pat Bateman, it's your fault I'm down here. Where's that from? Dadgummit, I saw the guy standing there shooting at me. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Is that an eye shot? No, headshot. Close enough. Uh, by the way, there's no jumping. That was a strictly scripted thing. I mean, I didn't have to time that or anything. You just hit the space bar and the action executes. So, I'm down here because Pat Bateman told me this is where you blow up the bridge. Yikes. Oh, God, hold on. Oh, I guess I could. Yeah, so shoulder shot is if I just don't iron. Yeah, okay. I'm going to try that next time. Got a trophy? Oh, no. One-fifth of the way to a trophy? Think I've grabbed trophy. Listen time. to me. This isn't a PlayStation. Achievement. Uh, 
Octune. There's a crate of uh, YouTube's best album. Uh, Alright, Pat Bateman, I'm down here. Where's the place to put the satchel charge? Nice intel. Oh, look. Yeah, up there. Yeah, the charge is definitely supposed to be up there. Uh, so this is as low as I can go. In a few senses of the word. Looks like it is. Why would you ever be down here? Ah! <laughs> Pat Bayman said, I told you to back off and scout. Yep. As that's exactly what a member of the intelligence community would do after they have uh, gotten the intel wrong and people died. Now, I bet what it was is I just... Because if you guys saw on the armored car... Oh, by the way, look, they've all calmed down. They're now like, eh, I guess he's gone. Uh, on the armored car, there was the... the place, the the sort of satchel hot spot, so I don't know if I was too close or not close enough to not see it on the train, but I do like your idea of going underneath to blow up the bridge instead of the train itself. Do you guys know Force 10 from Navarone? So the idea is there's a convoy on an, a bridge, and I think the idea is they can't possibly destroy the bridge. It's too well guarded. So they destroy a dam upstream to create a flood this will come in very useful that destroys the bridge it washes it away so maybe that's what's going on here is you can't destroy the train but you can destroy the bridge under the train Pat Bayman says first off it's totally down here it was on the first platform you dropped down move around to the left now so, where was I 30 seconds ago? Around to the left. My left, your left. <laughs> Who's left? Is it really down here? I don't believe you, Pat Bateman. Oh, there it is. Pat Bateman, as I was telling you, I'm supposed to come down here to place the satchel move. charge. Uh. Okay, it's not timed. So I guess, let's see if we can climb up on the other side. Does it, oh, the other side does not go up. It's a dead end there. All right, so we have to climb up here. Oh, there's a dude. Oh, let's use my well rod against him. <laughs> because I knew while he was climbing the ladder, he couldn't do any other animation. So, I don't... I'm not going to search bodies, because I don't like standing out in the open up here. Uh, I'm assuming when I get far enough away, it triggers... Like, there's scripting that says, okay, now we're going to make the thing blow up, because you pressed... because you placed the satchel charges. If you play enough, uh, is it Hitman? You, oh, also, doesn't Dishonor do it? Uh, if you're in cover and, you know, you click the button to... Uh, okay. You click the button to jump to the... You just space or mouse button to jump to the other cover. Shoot. Oh, that is him. I didn't even realize I was looking at a guy. All right, we're going to wait for the next sound mask. Lord Kosk is saying, no, no, snipe the satchel. Ah, that might be it, Lord Kosk. Wait, was that it? Come on. I don't know if that was masked.
Sniper kill, headshot, no assist, rifle kill. It did not seem like it was masked, but that's okay. Oh, that guy's down there. I think it's... Oh, shoot. It's a... Okay, it's not a Panzer term, but it does look like an armored car. Uh. Yeah. Why is it giving me the tutorial tip? Oh, no, yeah, see, okay. That's... I haven't seen that before. That's not the armored car. That's the armored personnel character. Carrier. And I don't see a weak spot. Oh, yeah, I do see a weak spot for the driver. So does that incapacitate it now? Oh, and there's a satchel place in front of it. It is kind of rude for them to hide the satchel hot spot in um, a bunch of ruined bricks. Cause how hard was that to see? Oh, there is a gunner there. <laughs> well, guess what, dude? Uh, oh, right, I could snipe or time it. Uh... Looks like it's trying to angle down at me. Shoot, I shouldn't have stood up. Haha. Uh -huh. Got a medal. I'm a decorated vehicle vanquisher. It's an actual military term, by the way. All right, so we've got to head down, it looks like over here to the west to be able to get an angle on that satchel charge on the bridge. And then we will have beat this mission. Because that's how good I am. Haven't done a lot of uh, secondary objectives. Didn't find the airplane, by the way. Wait. Yeah, okay, the primary objective is the gun. Airplane, who cares about that? That's not my job. I'm Army. Air Force can mess with that. Oh, hi. Uh, Gervall Wischtuten Stumpkopf. Yep, he thinks I'm German. He thinks I'm okay. Successfully talked my way out of that. All right. Um, I don't think this will quite do it. Let's see. I think it's down there somewhere. <laughs> All right. Let's. Yeah. Let's have to get up here. There's a couple of guys over here. I just wolf whistled him. He's not that hot. I'm a Corporal Mark III, I'd just like you all to know, and I've now unlocked a skill. Oh, whoa. shoot, go back to the tutorial. Wait. Where's my skill? There we go. Do we want accelerate binocular target focus speed? I think so. Acquire extra items, ammo from searches. All right, right away, I have an issue here. And Dishonored is terrible about this. So really, I this is I can freely change. Look, so the game is going to give me an advantage if I deal with interface pain in the ass min maxing. Namely, if I keep this enabled, and before I search someone, I hit escape, click that, and then search them. That's just its really annoying when people do that. And by people, I mean game designers. All right, can this guy hear me if I whistle? Let's try it again. Yeah, come over here. I see your exclamation point. I see your question mark. You are intrigued. Admit it. Oh, where's that body back there? All right. Yeah, you want to come see. What's that whistling noise? 
All right, let's search you guys. That's all. All right. So I think the guy in front of me is out on the scaffold. No, it looks like he's below me. All right, let's. Uh, okay, there's some kind of vehicle down there. All right, so this has got to be. That's it, right? Shoot. You know what? I bet they did. Yeah, they did that. Oh, I see. The whole point is this is crumbly, and it's being repaired, and so if I destroy it, it'll bring down. All right. So you'll know they also, it's in there. I don't have line of sight. I have to pull back farther, which, okay, fair enough. Uh, hmm. It's there, right? Or am I... Alright, I guess let's get back farther. Do we have to be all the way down there, I wonder? Church Maybe. Is well guarded. Church is well guarded. Let's see... Uh, yeah, that's not gonna make... Uh... Oh. Oh, if I was a game developer, I would let me snipe it from right here, because this is a cool position. Um, stupid tree. Oh my god, seriously? <laughs> is it gonna not do it? Oh, wait. No. Wait. Yeah, oh, yeah. Ah, you dumb tree. I like that, too. I mean, that's... It's, uh, this game's been doing this for a while, but I do like how... His legs are positioned according to the geometry there. Like that's got to be a huge pain in the butt for uh, developers to have to do. All right, let's see. I should... Well, it's not lit up. I can't... Oh, you know, I bet I have to highlight it with the binoculars. Yeah, here we go. All right, I can totally do this. Uh, it looks like I can't tag it, so we're just going to have to take it on faith. That I'm looking at the right thing. Oh, it does turn red, so that does mean that that's somehow. I'm gonna pre golf clap this one. All right, Rebellion, that was cool. It was no Red Faction Gorilla, but that was cool. Now, what I don't like, uh, I guess I'm okay with it. Uh, in, in the earlier mission, you had to exfil. You actually had to get off of the map first. You had to get back to a boat. But here, it just, okay, fair enough. Let's see. So let's see how I did. Because we all know how good I am at this game. Uh, I didn't get a perfect 10. What is that even? Why is there next one? Oh! Alright, so here's what's going on. These challenges, if I'm not mistaken, maybe they're after you've played it once. Like, you beat the main thing, and then they unlock the challenges. Let's check this out. So you'll note, uh, progress to perfection. That's kind of a Hitman thing, right? Is Doesn't each mission in Hitman have a bar that you fill up? Or no, no, you, you kind of like level up the mission? Or you level up your access to different options on a given mission? Anyway, Hitman does a great job of encouraging you to replay each of the levels in different ways. Seems like that's what's going on here, is you fill up this bar and get perfection on a level. There's probably XP you get from that. Maybe an achievement. Oh, sweet. Well, we already knew I was Mark II. I'm actually Mark III. Watch this. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. Come on. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. Yeah. Mark IV. Keep it coming. Let's go all the way to Brigadier General. No? All right. Fine. Let's see, I have this little, uh, not badge, what do you call it, ribbon? Ribbon, what do you call those little things? Because you line them up in a grid on your chest. That's how the military works. And, once again, I am a decorated vehicle vanquisher. Technical term. Uh, right, so, here's the deal. So, I, it just assumes, I guess, when you click campaign. Oh, when you do a mission, it assumes you're wanting to go through the campaign. But, I can always do this. 
First of all, uh, wait, where? Oh, yeah. Wait, where's co op? Oh, duh, there's a the whole entry. Look at this. Uh, I didn't mean to go in the lobby. I'm just wanting to start a game and show what it's like. Oh, shoot, I was matched with Faust. If you're ever matched with Faust, never. Uh, it's always a good idea to back out of the deal. Create games. Yeah, of course, that's how that works, Tom. Uh, so look. First of all, I like these kind of horde mode things. Horde mode's really weird in this, because it's basically what you guys just saw me doing on the bridge. Is, oh, God, things are coming right at me. I don't know what Overwatch is. So, let's say for... Oh, can I jump ahead to missions? I can jump ahead to missions I haven't done? Rebellion. I'm not sure how I feel about you letting me do that. That is very hitman -y. So there we go. Let's say I wanted to do this with McMaster, right? And then I host a private game and I name it I'm better than McMaster. And then we play this. Can I play co-op alone? That makes no sense. Yeah, and so now I'm in a lobby. And I presume it's... Yeah, yeah, so it's all my uh, experience and equipment persistent. I really like that. All right, let's go back and look at that challenge thing, because I really do think that that is a cool way to encourage replaying a mission. So that was Regine, Rel, Regeli, Regelino, Regelino, uh, Viaduct. Oh, wait, hold on. So yeah, these we saw before. Did we see these before? Oh, kill fewer than ten enemies. There you go. That's your little stealth mission. Wow. How the heck are you going to get up there on that stupid frickin' scaffolding? Killing fewer than ten enemies. Complete the level in under 15 minutes. Don't use empty lung. Destroy the additional ammo truck before it reaches its destination. Mmm. So there's a little time limit challenge you can give yourself, apparently. And there's uh, some sort of a moving element on the map. Covert retrieval. Retrieve the film canister from the pilot's body without killing any enemies guarding the church. Uh, I don't know what one has to do with the other, but fair enough. These are very cool. Were these not there before? All right, so I want to ch test something. So let's say I'm going back into here. I'm going to play on hard. Are there achievements for hard? Oh, you guys can't see the steam shell, so I'll look another time. I'm going to play on hard. Uh, well, we'll just take those things. Um, well, I'm in the pre-map map. Uh, why can I not see the challenges? Hmm, what if I wanted to know what the challenges are? Are they on the map? Alright, well, let me start the mission proper real quick. Do I have to listen to the radio? You know what? Screw the radio. the objectives? Where are my challenges? Oh, here we go. Yeah, so they are out there. Very good. Very good. Oh, and a little timer. Very nice, Rebellion. Thank you. That is good to know. So, there you go. Sniper Elite 4. Uh, that's the third mission you just saw. Sorry to spoil the end. Don't know how many missions there are. We could check by going to multiplayer and cycling through the single mission options to host a game. But it's got co-op, it's got competitive multiplayer. Uh, if I had more time, I would show that to you guys. Maybe next week there will be some competitive multiplayer in this. Even though I'm terrible at it, I did I did enjoy how different it was from the usual running and gunning. Um, and it, of course, applies. It just drops any progression in multiplayer into this bucket right here. So you progress the same, whether you're doing single player, co-op, or multiplayer. Uh, I really like that option. Uh, Sniper Elite 4 by Rebellion, company that really uh, came on strong way back with Alien vs. Aliens vs. Predator in the 90s. Kind of been in a, I wouldn't say a slump, but they haven't quite done anything that spectacular since then. But this, as far as stealth games that segue neatly into action, uh, I really like. I like it better than Dishonored. I think Dishonored has some issues that keep me from enjoying it. Uh, 
That's loud enough to disguise my rifle fire. I think I might put this up there with uh, Splinter Cell Blacklist, which also had really good progression and replayability, things that encouraged that, uh, a nice variety of missions, great, great co-op. So I might say this... I don't really want... Because actually, Metal Gear Solid Five was really good as well, as far as a stealth game that, that lets you transition into an action game. So I'd kind of put all these on the same level. And I consider that very high praise because Splinter Cell Blacklist was amazing, was really, really good. Metal Gear Solid, really, really good. And this, I think, really, really good. So there you go, Sniper Elite 4. Thanks for watching the stream. Um, uh, I am Tom Chick. I don't need to tell you that. I will be back Monday at 6 p.m. Pacific. If I missed any votes for Request Wednesday, you can always just type into the comments ch section, I vote for, and the name of your game, and I'll be sure to confirm that your vote was listed. And then Monday at 7 p.m. Pacific, we'll do a drawing and see what is up for uh, Request Wednesday. Thank you guys for watching. Remember, if you give this stream a thumbs up, Tom Berenger will personally come to your house and do one of his monologues from the movie Sniper. If you subscribe to this channel, Barry Pepper will recreate his greatest scenes from Saving Private Ryan. And if you support me on Patreon, actually I did say previously, if you just go check out the page. So yeah, if you go check out my Patreon page at patreon.com slash tomchick, Jude Law and Rachel Weiss will do a live sex show for you, recreating the love scene from Enemy at the Gates. If that's your thing. So thanks everyone for watching. Have a great weekend. Happy Friday to everyone, by the way. Uh, and I'll see you guys on uh, Monday. Alright, take care. Thanks so much for watching. Cheers.